Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Weekly Wash, the weekly video newsletter stacked with recommendations that will help you live a better, easier, smarter and healthier life. I obviously jinxed myself last week because I was really struggling with filming in the heat. It was like 30 degrees and I said it was really uncomfortable to film this video but hopefully next week it will be a lot more comfortable. What a stupid thing to say because once again it's about 30 degrees in Brighton and I'm just baking. Like I can't deal with the heat, my brain can't deal with it. Um, I wish that I could be filming this bollock naked but then obviously that wouldn't be too enjoyable for you. So I've got a t-shirt and shorts on so just be grateful for that fact. This week I'm double dipping for the first two recommendations and I'm going to follow that up with something a little bit lighter. Recommendation number one today is a podcast episode. Now I've already talked about Farnham Street before on the weekly wash and I absolutely love Farnham Street. I love their website but also I really love and I'm constantly listening to episodes of their podcast, The Knowledge Project, hosted by Shane Parrish. The episode that I want to focus on today is a conversation between Shane and Derek Sivers, founder of CD Baby, but also just like a fantastic thinker and writer. I would say that Derek is probably most famous for his TED Talks, which I think are some of the most popular on TED, at least on YouTube. Having been in hibernation for a while, Derek sort of resurfaced recently and just started appearing on podcasts left, right and centre. And I will listen to Derek talk to anybody, that's how much I love him and I have done. But within about 15 minutes of listening to the Knowledge Project episode, I came to the realisation that Shane was the perfect conversational partner for Derek. In the episode, the two of them covered like a really wide range of topics, including reverting to first principles to make smarter decisions, the importance of executing on your ideas, no matter how good they are, and the fact that execution, execution, execution might even be more important than the ideas themselves, and as well as that, they got a little bit more personal and Derek talked a bit about a mistake that he made in a relationship in the past, which was really nice to hear as well. When I got to about an hour or so into the conversation between these two guys, I slotted it into what I guess I could define as like my evergreen list. And what I mean by that is the collection of media that I will listen to over and over and over again just trying to really squeeze every last drop of wisdom out of it and i think i might go as far to say that i can guarantee that if you listen to this episode then you're going to gain at least one insight no matter how small but at least one insight that's going to alter how you think and now we find ourselves at recommendation number two and at the beginning of the episode i said that i was double dipping but actually what I'm doing is I'm double Derricking because the second recommendation is of an article that Derek Sivers wrote that's on his website and that article is called Where to Find the Hours to Make It Happen. The general suggestion of the article is that contrary to our own beliefs often, most of us do actually have the time that we need to achieve the things that we want to achieve, but we're using that time for comfort and to achieve our goals, our targets, our dreams, we need to trade the time that we're using for stagnant comfort and instead apply that time to something of a dynamic discomfort. Whether we like it or not, discomfort is going to be a consistent feeling on our journey to success before it gives way to more pleasant experiences. And I know that may sound a little bit sadomasochistic, but the truth is that Discomfort is inherent in the process of learning. When we don't understand something, it makes us feel uncomfortable and we work hard to gain an understanding of a subject to alleviate that discomfort. I'm recommending this piece because it's come at a really poignant and useful time for me. Because right now I'm working full time and trying to create at the same time. And the days feel really, really short. But it's not that the hours aren't there, it's just that I'm doing a really poor job of allocating them. Anyway, don't take my word for it, Derek's piece does a way better job of explaining this idea. And it actually somehow manages to cover a few other topics as well, which is pretty impressive because it's, it's a really short piece. 
I mean, I know that that is something that he aspires to, to make his work concise and to have as much information in as little space as possible, which is perhaps something that I aspire to with this. I'll get there one day without all of the extra waffles added on the side. Finally, a sweet little nut of a recommendation. And for this last bit, I wanna talk about two lovely blokes who have leveraged the power of YouTube to the great benefit of their business. Who am I talking about? Who else could I be talking about? Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Bob and Brad are two physical therapists that create videos with tips, exercises and explanations that help people to understand and tackle any physical issues they've been experiencing. What I like about them is that they both seem absolutely lovely and they're always making dad jokes with each other, which is great. But I think probably the cherry on the top is the fact that their videos are genuinely useful. So on a personal note, I've been suffering with this just nagging jaw problem for quite a while now. But Bob and Brad actually made a video about this particular problem and having watched it, they've just filled my toolkit with a bunch of massage techniques to help me counter these horrible headaches and pain that I've been experiencing. I mean, life's funky, man. Our bodies are just like slowly falling apart year by year. But Bob and Brad do a great job of giving us an idea of how we can slow down that deterioration and treat the ever increasing pains of physical existence. <laughs> so with that happy note, we've arrived at the finish line. Um, as always, all of the links will be in the description below. They'll also be on my website. Check out my website, it's jackinthewash.com. You'll find a bunch of my writing on there, um, some book recommendations, some film recommendations, all of the back catalog of the weekly wash. I hope that you found some value in this episode. I'm sure there's some in there somewhere. Have a lovely week. Stay healthy, take care, bye-bye.